Tess Lido. We talked about her at the top of the show. Only her and Mathilde Grimal are the repeat winners of this event. Mathilde has three gold medals. Tess has two. She's coming off of a big win in slope style at the uh, Dew Tour in Copper just down the road back in December. Tess was working on a dub 1620. She would be the first woman to do that trick if she were to land it here. We'll have to see what her strategy is in terms of her approach. So it's Boysen, Ocelin, and Tano, your one, two, three as of right now. So scores of 39, 35, and 26 as of right now, but getting the assist to start the run. Here we go, let's see what Tess can put down. Tucking in. Oh, and there is the double cork 12 right off the bat, landing super solid. That's going to be a great score in the bag. Contending with Maggie for sure. Again, everyone tucking into this jump, trying to get as much speed as they can. And look at that mute grab, sliding her hand all the way out towards the tip of the ski. Beautiful style, so well executed spotting her landing and putting the landing gear down. Tiny touch of the hand, so we'll see what the judges do with that. The clock starts to be a factor here, so definitely uh, did the first part of that equation, because again, as we roll through this, it's your two best scores total together that hopefully have you leaving Aspen with some X Games Women's Ski Big Air hardware around your neck. Tess Ledoux, she had a monster first run score of 44. What could she do on this second attempt? So nice to have Tess back out here. Oh, the 60 20! Oh, no. oh, she was going for it. Oh my gosh, she needs to get that. She is so close, so close to bringing that around to her feet. Hopefully, we'll get a look at that again. Looks like she is doing okay, up on her own accord, heading up to grab her ski. Well, even with that fall, with the size of that first run score, that still puts her in the top spot, even with a fall for right now. Monstrous, getting the tail grab, whipping it around, speeding herself up, and gets the feet down, but she's just a little bit backseat and just tips over. That is, that's gonna be fun to watch. Just kind of regroup here. So it's still, Hold of Tano and Boysen. They're one and two, three with Tess Lada sitting on the outside looking in right now. She's looking to drop that score of 13 here, Jen. Going for the 16 20 again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tess! That is what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Even she is just in awe. And this is why we love X Games. People come out here to push themselves to the absolute max, grabbing tail, whipping herself around, spotting the landing, and holding on for dear life, man. She's like, I am not going to go down again on this trick. Good for her. Making history again. That's what it's all about. Did you hear that reaction from the entire corral area? She has the second single highest run score of the day with a 44. Now she has the highest individual run score of a 49. Remember, the best possible run score you can get is a 50. So that's pretty much knocking on the door of perfection. A total of 93 that puts her in the top spot. Tess, welcome back to X Games. But right now, there is a look at your current leader with two monster runs, a 44 and a 49. Remember, it's your two best runs total together out here that count. She sits in the driver's seat here with a total of 93. Where does Tess go from here? She just stomped a left up 16 tail. Is she gonna improve on that dub 12? Oh, yes she is! That was absolutely stunning. I mean, look at the difference in score between first and second play. I mean, a 93, and then you got Megan Oldham with a 74 right now. That's think, the separation between gold and silver. I mean, it's just mind-blowing. She is on fire. Getting the mute grab, landing about halfway down, really finding the money spot on that landing. With two runs left to go, 13 seconds still on the clock. This is your current leader, Tess Lada. Tess is just having such an incredible event out here. Nice, just nice and easy for everybody. Just putting on a show at this point. I mean, where do you go? You've got a near perfect score on a never been done before, Dub Quirk 16. 
Well, at this point, it looks like you're going to go to the corral and get a winner's interview and then head, head over to the uh, award stage. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. We haven't seen it in slope style either, had we? Nope. So this that'll bring us down now. to Megan Oldham. Looks like that is going to be it's our final competitors. You see, time has expired on the clock. Let's send it down to DC. DC with our winner. Thank you guys very much. Here with your winner, your gold medalist, Bravo Tesla. Da. In your third X Games Bigger gold medal. We missed you last year. You were in our thoughts. And it's so good to have you back this year. Again, your third X Games uh, Bigger gold medal. How special is this one to you? This one is so special for me. I missed X Games last year. Um, this one is for my dad for sure. I'm just so happy. And it's just incredible. Thank you for all. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. And making history with the new trick as well. Your gold medalist, Tesla.